Hey guys, I hope you are doing well and welcome back to another video. So in this one we are going to look at how we can set this damage area using a trigger box and also a fire particle effect. As you can see here I have a health bar and it gets reduced when I enter the damage area. When I go out it stops and when it rounds out this ragdoll effect will be played and will simulate a death for us. So let's jump right in and see how we can set this up. Alright, the first thing we need to do here is to define a health variable for our third person character. So open up the blueprint and here create a variable. Let's name it health and then change it to float. Here hit compile so we can change the default value to 100 and now we are good to go. Next we need to attach this uh, variable to a widget blueprint so we can see it as a progress bar on our screen. So go to your content browser and create a widget blueprint. Let's name it health bar and open it up. Here we need a canvas so search for it and drag it in and then next add a progress bar. Here anchor it to the middle of the screen then position it exactly at the middle and I'll set these alignment values on 0.5 so it's actually at the middle of the progress bar. Now we can just uh, play with the position and place it wherever I want. Let's drag it here and scale it up. And yeah. Now here we can define the percentage. We want to connect this percentage value to the uh, float variable that we created here. So here just hit bind, create binding, and then cast to the third person character. For the object we need get player character and then now we can get our health variable. Now we need to divide it by 100. The reason is that uh, this value is from 0 to 100 but uh, this percentage value is from 0 to 1. So by dividing it by 100 we are able to uh, define this properly for our progress bar. Plug it in and that's it. Alright, now in order to have this on our screen, we need to go to the third person character blueprint and here after the event begin play node, just add a create widget function. Then choose the widget you made and next add it to the viewport. Also connect the return value to the target and that's it. Now we can have our progress bar on our screen and for example uh, if we set this health value on 60 you can see that it is changed accordingly. Okay now let's uh, put it back on 100 and control this using a trigger box. Here just search for trigger box in the actors tab and drag it in. Let's scale it up a little. And place it in front of our character. Let's also add the fire particle in the box trigger so it looks better. Just go to your starter content particles and here drag this fire in. Okay now what we want to do is to use this trigger box to decrease our health. So just uh, select it and then go to your level blueprint. Right click and here just add an on actor begin overlap. Then cast to the third person character. 
connect this other actor to the object and now here for example we can uh, subtract uh, 40 units from our health so here drag a wire get health then subtract 40 and then set it again also plug this to the target and now you can see that when I enter the trigger box my health is reduced but this is not how someone burns in a fire we want to reduce the damage incrementally and not just like this so delete this and we are going to use another method here we want to use a timeline so just drag a wire and add a timeline node then open it up and create a float and this way we can give input over time to our, our float variable we want to go from 100 to 0 in for example uh, 4 seconds so set the length of the timeline on 4 and here add a key the first key set it on 0 and 100 and create another one and set it on 4 and 0 hit these icons to frame it properly and now we can see that we go from 0 and 100 to 0 in 4 seconds now using this track we want to set the health variable so here just uh, search for set health and set it based on this track now you can see that when I enter the box the damage is decreased like this which looks much more natural we also want it to stop after we exit the area so here just uh, add an on actor end overlap cast to BP third person character and then just plug it into this stop here and now you can see that when I exit the area it stops yeah everything is working perfectly and now all we need to do here is to just uh, add a ragdoll after the damage is on zero so here we need to call the function after the timeline is finished meaning that uh, our health is uh, on zero so just here go to the third person character and create a custom event just right click add custom event and name it death then we want to call this uh, from our uh, level blueprint so after uh, the timeline is finished just search for death and here it is if you can't find it just uh, disable this context sensitive option and you can't find it here also connect this to the target and then all we need to do here is to just set simulate physics so search for set simulate and make sure that it's connected to this mesh here which you can drag in by uh, using this component here and plug it in next we want to enable this option and also uh, set the collision for our character mesh on ragdoll so just scroll down here and set this uh, collision presets on ragdoll now compile and play and as you can see when our health reaches zero we have this death and it looks very beautiful yeah that's it guys and i hope you enjoyed this video if you learned something new from this tutorial please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel thank you guys for watching catch you later